but like, uh, well, but you didn't go to college, so I guess you wouldn't know. Um, it's true, I didn't. So, so let me ask you though, does that mean that I'm not able to have this conversation with you? Because I no. actually remember the book and you didn't, and you paid hey. for it. What's up, YouTube? Hope you guys are feeling good. Today, guys, we're back here on to a new video. Today, we're going to be checking out Charlie Cake School's Smoke College Lifters. Okay, let's check this video out. This is going to be amazing. So, let's go right into it. Okay, um, I just wanted to real quick ask you, uh, can you clarify your definition of critical race theory? Uh, yeah, Derek Bells. So, what he wrote in 1991, Intro to Critical Race Theory. What's in that book? The whole book is your definition. Um, how about this? Oh, the one I used. Call everything racist till you control it. Oh, so wait, but then that literally means that critical race theory can mean basically anything you want it to, right? Like, can, Only can if I you're have calling like it racist till you control it. I mean, I'm defining critical race theory in the modern American context as that. We can go back to Herbert Marcuse, One Dimensional Man, or Jacques Derrida, or Michel Foucault, but the most agreed upon legal, no, I'm sorry, the most agreed upon academic theory is Intro to Critical Race Theory, 1991 by Derrick Bell. Yeah. Wait, but... Are you familiar with that literature? Well, yeah, I've read the book, but I don't remember anything about it. It was for, like, a college class. Like, let's be honest. Nobody remembers the books they read in college. Um, Sounds like a great value proposition to go to nah, college. No, no, no. It is. Trust me. <laughs> but, like, uh, well, but you didn't go to college, so I guess you wouldn't know. Um, it's true. I didn't. So, so let me ask you, though. Does that mean that I'm not able to have this conversation with you? Because I no. actually remember the book, and you didn't, and you paid hey. for it. <laughs> Charlie came back, came back for him full post. So first of all, I didn't pay for it. Uh, there's these things called scholarship. Oh, so somebody else so, paid for you not to yes, remember the book exactly. that you're supposed to read. Oh, Anyways. some wealthy donor or taxpayer paid for you hey, to not remember the book. I have a question. Um, who are your wealthy donors? Many of them are in this room. Thank you guys for your wonderful support, by the way. Interesting. We have over 130,000 grassroots donors at Turning Point USA, 130,000. I think we have some people in the back that chip in $5, $10, $15. God bless, God bless you, God bless you, God bless you, God bless you, God bless you. We are a grassroots funded operation. But let me give you another example. I'll give you five things that critical race theory believes. Number one, the notion that racism is ordinary and everywhere. Number two, the idea of interest convergence, otherwise known as intersectionality. Number three, the social construction of race meaning that there is a social construction around race in our society. The four, idea of storytelling and counter story, storytelling. Number five is that no matter how hard you work, no matter how hard you do, you cannot remove racism from your society. Those are five True. pillars of critical race theory based on Derek Bell's Intro to Critical Race Theory. Does that, does that ring a bell? Um, yes, but like, okay, so let me stick with this. Um, what do you think... We'll edit that out. My Don't train. Worry. Oh, oh, my bad. Wait, am I not allowed to? It's not encouraged. Oh, okay. Sorry. Um, what was the third point? My mind is dying. The social construction of race. The social construction of race. Do you not think that race is uh, at least partially socially constructed? Depends how you define it. So, like, what defines where one race ends and where one race begins? Depends who you're asking. I think race is completely and totally irrelevant. Do you think race is relevant? No. Okay, then why are we talking about race all the time? And why are we talking about critical race theory? Well, you brought it up at first when you were doing your speech. Right, so, remember I said it was a lie from the pit of hell that we should repudiate and stop talking about all the time? <laughs> you're, you're on scholarship? Sorry, what? Nothing, sorry, go ahead. <laughs> um, so, to answer your question, I don't think that race means anything, and I guess you don't either, right? Yeah. Right, so then why do you keep bringing up race whenever you are on or speaking on a stage? I am not speaking on a stage bringing up critical race theory. You no, are. No, no, no. So. I'm bringing up how critical race theory destroys society and how we shouldn't talk about race all the time. Okay, but you're bringing up race. No, no, critical race theory, not race. Okay, so... What's the second word in that? Yeah, it's race, but it's a theory of how to view race, of which is a mind virus pathogen destroying America, of which I said again, 
just to reemphasize for those in the back, we could replay the tape. We throw the red flag to go we'll watch it over again. I said that what? Race means nothing. I care about your actions, your character, and most importantly, your soul. Thank you for being here tonight. Thank you. Sure. For my points in this video is I the, the small college students should not have come in the first place to come and ask Charlie questions. Because the questions he came to ask, Charlie already answered it already. So it feels like Charlie was just repeating himself. And during the time the guy was there, he was actually kind of like having amnesia. <laughs> because he was forgetting some questions he's going to ask. He was just forget forgetting, 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 trying to get it right. You see, the thing is that race really means nothing. Your action, your character means a lot. You understand? Irrespective of you being white, black, Latino, and in the end, your your race means nothing. Just your character, your individuality, your person. You understand? That that's what matters. The way you your attitude itself. So the guy, the guy knows race does not mean anything. But I don't know why he came to ask the question. This is actually this thing is awkward. The whole inter conversation was kind of like awkward for me. Because I just don't know how to point out where the guy is at fault right now. It's 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 a very awkward conversation. At the same time, it's the small college students just make it feels like people who are sacrificing to pay for his tuition fee because he's actually in, in, in scholarship. People who are sacrificing to pay his, his tuition fee are actually wasting their money. Because he's not trying taking the, the um education itself seriously. It feels like he anything he learns he forgets. You understand? So it's it, it feels like okay, since he's not the one paying for it, he actually don't care. He's not putting enough effort in the education that they're paying for him for free. Whereas people who are paying it are actually going extra miles to get the funds. Some of the payments of people who are in scholarship are coming from taxpayers. So this this is something we should tackle. Because some people are not taking this collection very serious. So he just, he's making education, these small college students making his education kind of like awkward. And after people have watched this video now, some people will not want to like invest in people who invest in people's life so that they'll be able to have scholarship. The whole conversation is online. Like I said, it's awkward. This was amazing to watch. Comment down below what you think about this video. Give us a thumbs up. Share this video to as many as you can subscribe to our channel. I will see you guys in the next video. Make sure you stay safe. I just bought a bag like an old lady. I'm back wood smoking. I don't own papers. Pass that 808. That don't, don't shake her. Oh, bitch, you know I'm grinding like a pro skater. Baby, mama bugging. I'm so quick to hit ignore. Buku bitches in my bed. I got scales.